right. Um, I'm gonna upload this. Well, I'm, as you can see from the date at the bottom, I'm recording this on Friday, but this will be the video for Saturday, as I won't be here. Um, I'll just set it a uh, time to upload. Um, this is a cameo from the last video where I showed you how to install the buses. Now I'm going to show you how to install the maps. So I'm going to put the links in the description. And if you click on, like, say, if you want the buses of the West Country map, there's a couple of pictures and that by year. You can go on. Kind of shows you what it's like. It's a good map. I love it. It's one of the ones that probably works best for me. See, look, there's a lot of people who have given it really good reviews. Four or five stars. Um, for this, this is the only one that I could find. I had a look around, and unfortunately, you'll have to go and create an account to go and download it. But I've looked around and I can't find. Um, oh, hold on. So we download link in this one as well. This might just be on um, telling you what they've changed, the looks. I wish it was dated and for when? July. That must be the date and all down, but there's July when it was updated. Anyway, yeah, uh, log in and download. And then. You should end up with this buses of the West Country map. Um, if I click into that, I know it looks a bit oh Christ, <laughs> like a lot to do. Um, but it's pretty simple to go and do. So you would bring up your um directory for OMSI. Um. If you know where it is, and just go and find it. Otherwise, if you're not sure where it is and you've got it in Steam, just go on OMSI, right click, and properties, local files, and browse local files, and it'll bring up the window where you have it installed to. Then, I tend to start off with the fourth one down, I think it is. Yep. Where all you do is just install it to the corresponding file. So it's like add-ons into the add-ons folder, fonts into the fonts folder. But you would just go and drag and drop to so go add-ons. There's already in there. Look, so mine's outdated. Mine's 2.7. Is it 2.9 out now? But yeah, um, yeah, I haven't updated. It. It's a 2016 one, so that needs updating it. Um. All you do is just list your drag and drop or copy and paste, whichever way you want you prefer to do it. Make sure that if you drag and drop you don't highlight the folder and put it into another one by accident. But that's all you do is just go through each of them and install them. It's literally just as easy as that. There's a readme file there if you're stuck because it should tell you what to do in that. I'm not sure if these are just some extra bits I downloaded, I'm not sure if they come with it. Cause it was a while ago when I downloaded it, but um, oh, was this here? It must have been in. I downloaded it. The second, the second month, but uh, yeah, it's just as easy as that to do. Just drag and drop, and a lot of drag and drop really, or copy and paste. Um, once you do that. If you were unsure, because you don't want to go and load it all up for it to go and crash and get your hopes up, sometimes I'm pretty sure with this one, there might 
come up that there's something missing and usually it'll give you download links on where to go to go and get the bits you're missing so there's another download link for this a maps tool hit the download by here and download it just install it and walk through that um, literally all this thing is is just to I thought there'd be a thing here to like read out about it but all this just thing to check the maps to check the install to make sure everything's there properly so when you open it up it should look like this you click on the dots by here click on the map that you got so best of the west country and click OK and it'll look through every single inch of the map for any mistakes and then my noise not responds and, and then comes back again usually I haven't done it for a little while so hopefully it should uh, go and do it now if it doesn't we'll leave it out but that's all you have to do and it should just tell you it it'll come up like if it's um say it's missing objects ah oh, there we go it's done you are that it gives you uh, results at the bottom so it shows you how much everything's fine and then it'll be missing objects and this one and i got nothing if there is anything missing i think it also comes up in these they'll bring it up separately in them but if there's nothing missing and it technically it should work as long as your PC is capable of running it it's a pretty easy map to run on but uh, anyway let's click close on that I think that's everything now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video again um, if you guys want it as I said in the last video which I was going to which I'm going to put up today that you haven't seen yet but once you've seen this you might have seen it is um, but uh, I'm gonna go into a stage because repaint video most likely I will um, I'll probably leave that till Sunday now Sunday maybe Monday probably Sunday because uh, tomorrow for Saturday as I said I'll be up in um, Cardiff. Oh, I'm shattered. I barely slept last night. But, um, I still got up and done the video for you guys. But uh, if you did enjoy the video, smack the like button and drop a comment on what you thought or what you want to see next. Um, and, yeah, smack that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.